Here's the most important message this week. We don't have enough housing. The shortage of housing at every level is a big issue right now, nationally and in Connecticut. Housing is a moral imperative, meaning that everyone has a right to have a roof over their head. But it's also an economic imperative, meaning that if we don't have enough housing for workers, how will we fill the jobs that we have open at the moment? Here's what that looks like in Connecticut right now. The state's Business and Industry Association says that despite gaining 5,000 jobs in May, the labor force here is now the lowest it's been in the last two years. We have over 100,000 jobs open in the state, and we need more people to join the workforce to fill those jobs. And the lack of available housing makes it much harder to find and keep the people we have. That makes it a big obstacle to attracting new businesses to Connecticut which means it stands in the way of an improved economy here for everyone. So how do we fix it? I've always been a strong supporter of finding local solutions to meet our housing needs. That's why I voted against a last minute amendment on a bill in Hartford. That bill creates a statewide study to determine how much housing Connecticut needs. I was worried it would lead to housing mandates from the state. But if you believe like I do, that local cities and towns should be handling this, then we have to take the steps necessary to find the ways to address this housing shortage. That's the only way to avoid state mandates. We can't just stick our heads in the sand and hope it will go away. That's not going to happen. Thanks so much for watching and have a great week.